Students, it is our short-handled striking week. Before we can begin our activities, we need a racket. I am not going to be giving you a tennis racket. No, no, no. This week is going to be a make your own racket week. Utilizing some basic house items that you can find anywhere in your home, we are going to make our racket and participate in fantastic striking activities. Let's do it. These are some items that I was able to find in my home. What can you find in yours? Please make sure you ask for your parents' permission to use your house items and be as creative as you can be. Cardboard, plastic, recyclables, paper, tape, scissors, paper plates are all great items when making your own racket. The best rackets that you make are going to be featured in next week's Student Spotlight posts in our PE Google Classroom. And don't worry if you're unable to make your own racket. You can use a sneaker or a slipper to participate in our activities. Now, I'm going to take a few minutes to make the best rackets that I can make using this array of house items. I'm all done making my own racket. Let's see what I've come up with. Remember, our activities are going to be short-handled striking. So make sure when you make your own racket, you have a short handle that you can hold with one hand. I have here a paper towel holder stuffed with paper and a plastic recyclable. I have a plastic handle with paper plates and tape. I have a cereal box with a piece of wood and some tape. My personal favorite, I've used this Swiffer duster handle and my favorite cereal, Cinnamon Toast Crunch and some tape to create my favorite short handled implement. Now students, you are going to make your own racket and like I mentioned earlier, the best homemade rackets for each grade level will be featured in next week's Student Spotlight post. If you do not have your parents' permission to create a racket, if you are unable to create your own racket, you will be participating in all the activities using your sneaker as a racket or a slipper as a racket. Thank you for watching the Make Your Own Racket video. Now let's get to it.